Can two tall parents have a short child? Hello, and welcome to our video. Today, we're going to unravel the fascinating world of genetics and delve into a common question. Can two tall parents have a short child? Understanding Height and Genetics First things first, let's get a grasp on how genetics play a role in determining our height. Height is a polygenic trait, which means it's controlled by multiple genes. These genes come in different versions, or alleles, and the combination of these alleles can influence the final height of an individual. What is dominant and recessive inheritance? Now, in the realm of genetics, we often talk about dominant and recessive inheritance. Dominant traits are those that only need one copy from one parent to show up, while recessive traits need two copies, one from each parent, to appear. But height doesn't strictly adhere to these rules. It's not a single gene with a dominant and recessive version, but rather many genes interacting together. So, you could say height follows a more additive inheritance pattern, where every gene adds a small amount to the total height. How can two tall parents have a short child? It is theoretically possible for two tall parents to have a short child. Each parent, tall or short, carries a mix of tall and short alleles. When a child is conceived, they inherit a random assortment of these alleles from each parent. Sometimes, a child might inherit more short alleles than tall, even if both parents are tall, resulting in a shorter stature. Other factors affecting height. Remember, while genetics do play a significant role, they aren't the sole determinant of height. Environmental factors like nutrition and overall health during childhood and adolescence can also impact height. So, in some cases, a child may be shorter due to factors other than just their genetic makeup. In conclusion, genetics is a complex and fascinating field. While it may seem counterintuitive, it is indeed possible for two tall parents to have a short child, thanks to the assortment of alleles and the influences of environmental factors. We hope this video has shed some light on this intriguing subject for you. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to exploring more exciting topics with you in our next video.